Hello and welcome everyone. Today we're going to do some quick reviews. As you can see it's a cold blustery day here. A good day to sit inside and look at some Matchbox. So let's get started. This may turn out to be a really long review from the stack of cars I see in front of me. These are all Matchbox Power Grabs 2020 releases. Let's get them cracked open and take them for a spin. First off, I think we'll take a look at this Chevrolet K1500 MVX Mountain in the Power Grabs box. Alright, it's a nice gray color, nice wheel choice. Very good looking truck. It's good from the back. I like the 4x4 tempo right there on the back that looks good nice utility looking truck trail hiker tours very neat matchbox never disappoints they always make a nice die cast if you like four by fours I'm sure you'll like this one I think we'll move on to the next one this one kind of speaks for itself. Ford F-350 Super Duty. Very cool casting. I've seen this in a couple different colors. This is the first time I've seen it in the red. And it's got this awesome box with the 75th anniversary logo on it and everything, which is really cool. This is another great utility vehicle. This looks more like a police truck. Has the Mattel 75th anniversary logo on the door. Lots of other great details. I like the bars that go around it everywhere. See the winch on the front. Looks like this could be like a fire hose maybe piece on the front. Great detail. I like the color. The red and the white looks great together. Awesome wheels. Very cool. Got a siren on the top. Too bad that's not in a different color, but that could always be painted. Very nice casting. I really like this one. The 75th anniversary pieces are really special. I'm going to keep one for my collection. Most of these vehicles that you see here today I do have in the eBay store if anyone's interested. There's a link in the About section and a link on the top of your home page if you're on your home computer. I went ahead and pre-opened these to try to speed it up a little bit since we have so many to do. But it doesn't look like it's speeding it up much. This is a really awesome casting. El Segundo Police. This is towing capable. I really like that. This also looks good with the other Ford Explorer black and white that I have. These look really cool together. Great detail on this. I like that the headlights are painted in. This also has the siren on the roof. Tail lights are painted in. Very nicely detailed. You can see through the windows if you look up close. It's got a nice detailed interior. Kind of hard to see. And in this light. I like the wheel choice. I like taking these wheels and putting them on all kinds of other vehicles. One of my favorite wheels that Matchbox has. I like the Ram bars on the front. Very cool. I think we have maybe another police vehicle in this stack. This vehicle is a 2015 Corvette Stingray MBX Highway. Let's get this one cracked open and take it for a spin. You know, I'm not sure what collector number these are. They don't put that on these power box or power grabs boxes, but on the regular packages they do. But 
some reason they don't own here, so I'm not sure what collector number these are. Oh, nice gray color. Beautiful graphics on the side. It says Matchbox Highway Patrol Trooper. 75 on the side there. Very nice. Awesome wheel choice. If you look closely in the back window, you can see, it might be hard to see on here, but there, there is some items in the trunk there. Looks like a bag, like a doctor's bag, and what something kind of appears to be a golf bag, maybe. Kind of odd for a police car. Maybe that's a shotgun. That's probably a shotgun in a bag. That's what that probably is. Cool. You can see the computer, so it's definitely got a police car interior, so that wouldn't be a golf bag. Very cool. If you can see it or not. Yeah, it's probably a shotgun in there. A rifle or something. Very cool. I like the star on the door. I like the gray color. This is a good color for a highway patrol vehicle. It'll blend right in with the road. Great paint job. Looks good. I like this one. So go good with the police vehicles. Let's go grab another one and move on to the next. Since we did two police cars, I guess we'll do this international armored car. This is the last uh, police type vehicle. This is not really a police vehicle, but it would be very secure. An MVX City edition. Let's get this one cracked open. This is going to be a metal chassis vehicle with plastic body. That's a little disappointing. But it still looks really cool. I like the color scheme. The red and the gray looks really nice together. It's got some really nice looking truck tires. Odd rim choice, but great chunky tires. The back is very detailed paint in the tail lights on this if you wanted at least this part's metal nice looking casting very detailed even though it's plastic body it's got all the markings you would see on an armored car security since 1952 it says on the side that's pretty neat federal credit union very nice casting even though it's plastic I know I sound like a broken record, but I wish it was all metal. Here's a casting that I like. This is the second one that I have for my collection. I have this in a light green color. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the only two castings or two color schemes, but I know they have the green one and this blue one. Those are the only two that I've seen. But there could be some other color variations I don't know about. This is a nice, bold blue color. Very nice. I like the sunroof on here and the clear windows so you can see through the interior. Very cool. This one also has some stuff in the back. Hard to make out exactly what it is. But it does have some items molded into the back. I like this wheel choice. Looks proper for this car. Very nice. This has got the molded plastic grill, but they painted in the headlights, which, which is, I appreciate that. I love it when they do that. The headlights look fantastic. This is a nice color. The back is fully detailed, which is even better. We've got the license plate, all the insignias that you would have. They didn't miss anything there. You couldn't ask for better. Very nice casting. If you're a Mercedes-Benz fan, I think you would really enjoy it. I love station wagons, no matter what kind, so I'm going to keep all the wagons I can get my hands on. That's what I do. Let's move on to the next one. Alright, next up we have this Jeep Renegade 2019 MBX City. This is probably another color variation, but this is the only one that I have. 
and I really like this color. This is why I grabbed it. I think this is a beautiful color green. Wow, it looks fantastic. I love the tail lights on this. I always like the tail lights on this vehicle. It reminds me of Ford Galaxy tail lights. Great looking grill. I mean, there's they didn't miss anything on this one. The grill's painted in. The, the headlights are painted in. It says Jeep on the hood. Everything's there on this one, front and back. Very detailed. This has got a kind of a smoky color windows but you can still see through there's a nice detailed interior in there good wheel choice this has the full sunroof on top and a little spoiler there on the back I don't know how well these are off-road in real life but it's definitely a nice looking machine probably not as capable as other Jeeps I would imagine but most people keep them on the pavement anyway these days. Looks like it would be a fun car to cruise around in. Now let me find another Jeep. We have a bunch of Jeeps to look at. We'll get a different Jeep and go to that next. Next up we have the Jeep Willys. This is MBX Jungle. Nice blue color. This is more of the... To me this looks more like the Army Jeep from the 1940s, maybe a 43, doesn't say the year, but I know I had a green army jeep, I think it was a 43 that looked exactly like this one. This is an excellent color on here, this has got the metal flake blue, nice seats, back tire looks very detailed on here, got a gas can, some other details painted in like a shovel here on the side. Some of the hardware for the roof. Excellent casting. Got the hardware painted in on the side here that would attach the windshield to move up and down. Super casting. I like this one. This would go great if you have the Green Army Jeep. They would go great together. I like the wheels on here. The white wheels go great with the white tempos on the side. Super little Jeep. This is a nice one. You can always paint the headlights in on this and paint the bumper. Maybe paint the bumper white. That would really pop. This would be a fun one to play around with. Maybe put some bigger tires on it. Really pleased with this one. Let's move on to our next Jeep. We have another Jeep Wheelies, except this is a 48 Jeepster. This is another different color variation. I've had this one in like a banana yellow, which I really enjoyed. I love the front end on this. This is a really unique looking Jeep. This one also has what appears to be the metal flake. Does this have the metal flake? It's got a little metal flake in it. Not as much as the other one though. Beautiful color. I love this color. Great detail on the grill and headlights. Looks amazing. Just paint this bumper in and do a little more detail work. You could really customize this very easily. Nice detailed interior. Good wheel choice. The front end is just amazing. I love the front end on this. I think this color is better than the, the uh, yellow one that they released. It was like a pale yellow. I, I think this one looks much better. A little classier looking. I like that the, I like that the uh, license plate is very visible. It's got the W on the back wheel there molded in. The spare tire looks really good on this. Very well done. I think I have at least two more Jeeps to look at. We'll grab another one and move on to the next. I don't know a whole lot about Jeeps. 
I see that it says CJ7 on the hood, which is probably more information than the box is giving me. It just says Jeep 4x4. I wish I knew what year. I'm going to assume that it's probably from the 70s or 80s. If you know the specifications about this one, you're more than welcome to leave it in the comments section. It definitely is a CJ7, but I'm not sure what year this would be. Kind of looks like a mid 80s to me, but like I say, I don't know a lot about Jeeps other than they're very good 4x4s. I love the wheel choice on this. I especially like the exhaust pipes coming out underneath the wheels, wheel wells here where you would get in. That would look so much cooler painted in. It's towing capable, which is always a favorite of mine. Got a lot of trailers to pull around. I like the graphics on here. That's another reason I'm thinking mid-80s. is the color scheme. Reminds me of the mid-80s. You see graphics like that on clothes and jackets and vans and Jeeps. This would have a winch on the front. Very cool. I like the ram bars on the front. Or the brush guard, if you want to call it that. Nice, awesome looking paint on this. This also has the metal flake, kind of a pearl white metal flake. I like the chrome, chrome rims look really good. Sweet casting. Matchbox has a lot of Jeeps to choose from this year. We'll move on to another one, which I think is the last one that I've purchased recently and the last one that we have to look at in the Jeeps. Let me grab it and we'll move on. I saved the most modern Jeep for last, which is a 2020 Jeep Gladiator. I have a couple of other ones like this, but this is the only one I have that doesn't have any doors on it. I keep seeing this one on Instagram and a couple of times here on YouTube. I was very happy to finally find one. I must admit, the first time I saw it on Instagram, I almost thought that somebody had customized it and cut the doors out themselves until I looked at it closer. Man, what an awesome looking 4x4. I like the pickup truck Jeeps. Very cool. Yeah, it just looks awesome with no roof and no doors. It's like you could take this thing anywhere. It'd be awesome to be cruising in this on a summer day. Very nice wheels on this. Kind of an oily looking chrome. Too bad this one's not towing capable. But the, the tail lights are detailed and painted in, which I do like. And we also have the Jeep logo, and it says Rubicon right there on the hood. Or Gladiator. Is this a Gladiator? Yeah, it says Gladiator, but it's I guess it's a Rubicon Gladiator. Gladiator. Huh. You know, I never noticed the difference. I guess the Gladiator and the Rubicon are the same. I don't know. Like I say, I don't know much about Jeeps. But I think this is the last one we have in the Jeeps. I think we'll move on to Dodge next, since they're related. Next up is one of my favorite castings that Matchbox has put out recently. This is the 68 Dodge D200. I have this in a light green version. This is the black version, which I like a whole lot better. I have a, this is the second one of these that I've opened in black. I got two of these for the collection because I do want to customize this. I'm, I just can't get over how good it looks. It looks great. The red line going down the side and the Dodge emblems with the chrome and the black, it just looks perfect. I, I can't wait to take it apart and customize it and paint the grill out, paint the back bumper in. 
And since I got two of them, I want to lower one down and put regular tires on it and slam it down to the ground and then detail it and then keep one as a 4x4. Four four. I think it would look good both ways. Well, as you can see, it looks fantastic like this. And I think it would look fantastic lowered down to the ground as well. Yes, I, I love this. This color looks great. It almost looks like a satin black. This is my favorite casting of 2020 from Matchbox, without a doubt. Very pleased. I think we'll move on to another Dodge. I think we have a muscle car to look at next. I'll grab it. Then we'll get this cracked open and take it for a spin. This is a nice pale yellow. This is what I was talking about on the Jeepster earlier. Very similar to the color I have on the other Jeepster. Willie's Jeepster. Looks really good on here. I like the chrome running down the bottom of the car. This has got all the details. The handles painted in. The running lights painted in does have molded plastic for the back, but that can be easily painted. It says Hemi on the side, right there on the back, like it should. It's got the shaker hood. I really like this casting. It looks fantastic. What a nice casting. I think we have another Plymouth. We'll grab the other Plymouth and move on to it. We have the 33 Plymouth Sedan. They have a couple different color variations of this. I know they have a maroon version and they also have a, I, I guess you want to say like a pale green police car version. This is a beautiful blue. I think this is probably my favorite version. It looks really nice in this color. The blue and the black look great together. I like that the door handles are painted in. The wheels look totally appropriate. The back wheel on this one is not as detailed as some of the other castings we've looked at today. It's really nice. I like that the grill is painted in. This would be an easy one to do a little bit of detail work on. You know, the, the front bumper could be changed. I think I have a, another bumper that would go right on here that's period correct. It, you know, doesn't have all this molded plastic around it and stuff. But other than that, it's an excellent casting. I don't even mind the front bumper that much. One of my favorites again this year is this 33 Plymouth and that Dodge truck. Very nice. Let's grab another one. We're starting to put a dent in the pile that I had. Here, I grabbed something totally different. This MVX Cycle Trailer. In the Power Grabs box, MVX Countryside. Get her cracked open. Very awesome. I love the red and black, little red and black and white graphics. Just, just enough. The diamond plate on the back with the license plate. Very detailed. And it's got a chopper. What else could you ask for? We got a chopper on here. And look at all the detail. This would be so fun to paint. I can't wait to paint this. Ah, what a great casting. I love trailers. Love motorcycles. Two combinations that go great together. Very cool. It's got the sissy bar seat on here. Very neat. Huh. Yeah. We'll have to paint this up. Make it look really cool. You could make this trailer look like wood and have something really special. Or this would be great to just take the motorcycle off and make a, you know, different type of trailer out of even. 
Awesome. I wish I had more of those. I'll have to keep my eyes peeled. I need more than one of these. Very cool. Okay, I think I have one other trailer since I grabbed this one. Let's, let's look at the other trailer. This is a popular one I keep seeing on Instagram. Lots of people have been customizing this and doing lots of cool things with it. This is the MBX Mountain Trailer. I think this is like the um, Park Services. This goes great with the Park Service truck they have, same color. I have a Chevy Park Service truck that this matches. Very cool details here on the back. They didn't miss a thing. Excellent. Lots of details on the side. I can see why people are customizing this. It's just like an open canvas. And this boat piece on top is detachable. That comes off. So you can get rid of that and do something totally different here if you wanted. Lots of options. Another great one to customize. Yeah, I love the trailers. You know, Matchbox has really got some cool stuff. It's a little bit on the smaller side. You know, it's, it doesn't go well with true 164 scale vehicles. These trailers would probably be fine, but the reg regular cars are kind of small. But I don't mind that. I like the smaller ones. So, Matchbox is perfect for me. Yeah, I like the true 164 scale vehicles as well, but I have a lot of HO scale buildings and things and it's easier to blend in a matchbox with those than anything else really unless you have some true HO scale cars but those are quite pricey let's move on this is a really nice casting the 1956 Austin Martin DBR1 this is in the green color I'm pretty sure this might be out in a different color I'm not really sure. Oh man, it looks good. That looks really good. I like how the headlights are painted in. It looks fantastic. The little vents in the side look really good. Awesome wheel choice. Got the tail lights painted in. Very nice. Good little casting. This thing looks fast just sitting still. Next we have this 2018 Bugatti Divo. I got lucky and found a couple of these. Maybe three. I found three of these. I'm going to keep one and sell the other two on eBay. Very nicely detailed. I like the blue and the gray together. It looks very good. Nice wheel choice. I like the blue interior. It's kind of neat. I especially like the, the blue pinstripe that goes right through the center of the car. It's very fine. Kind of hard to notice at first, but I think that sets off the paint job really well. The tail lights look fantastic. Got the emblem on the back. Interesting looking paint, almost reminds you of carbon fiber or something maybe. Yeah, very cool. I like the grill. It's got the signature Bugatti grill. You can't miss it. This is the only um, Bugatti I've ever seen in the Matchbox before. I have a, a Hot Wheels version. That's neat how you can see the outside reflecting through the windshield. See the tree branches and stuff. Okay, I think that's probably our last fancy sports car. I do have a Mazda Miata. We'll look at that next, but that really doesn't compare to a Bugatti. I got lucky and found a few of these. This is the one I'm keeping. I've already sold two of the other ones on the eBay store. 
There's a link in the about section in case anyone's interested. Get them while you can. This happens to be a hot item here. And I see why. It's got great detail. I love the rims on this. Everything's detailed on the back. Everything you would expect that the real car would have. Very nice. Same with the front end. The headlights look amazing. Almost looks like a human eye. Such an interesting color. I love the color. This has got the metal flake paint. Very nice. Got detailed interior. This is a passenger passenger drive vehicle, which is even more interesting. So it's not an American version. Got the passenger steering wheel there. That's really neat. Got the Mazda logo on the front end. Yeah, they didn't miss anything. This one is really nice. No wonder I keep selling this one. Well, let's move on to something totally different. Next, we have the 1974 Volkswagen Type 181, also known as the Thing, MVX Jungle. They've got a bunch of different versions of this. It's a great little casting. The car really doesn't have a great reputation in real life, but it's very unique looking. And the paint job they put on this one is just, just perfect. Everything goes together. I like the tan interior. It looks very detailed. All the colors on here just go great together. The orange, the green, the tan. I really like it. Only thing missing is some detail here on the back, paint in those tail lights, paint in the headlights and license plate. But other than that, it still looks great. I like the uh, tempos on here. Very cool. Here we got the HW uses thing on here. Very nice. Almost looks like pot leaves on the door. Hmm, interesting. I don't think we have any other Volkswagens, so we'll move on to something totally different. They have this Mr. Bean Mini Cooper. I guess this is just a special series on its own. It doesn't say anything but Matchbox. We know it's power grabs. Let's get it cracked open. Yeah, interesting color. Kind of a fluorescent green. I like the uh, satin black hood with the fluorescent green. Looks really cool. Nice looking front end. They got the headlights painted in, the hood emblem, license plate. You know, it's cool. They Even though it's molded plastic, they're starting to paint like the license plate and stuff like that. Very cool. Thank you, Matchbox. I like those little details. Cute little casting. If you like the original Mini Cooper, those are kind of hard to find. Kind of a loud color. Good wheel choice. Very good wheel choice for this one. Okay. I see another Roadster. Huh. Next we have the 33 Ford Coupe. This is another different variation in color. Uh, there's at least two or three other versions of this that's come out recently. This is actually the Moon Eyes paint job. Which it doesn't mention that on the box anywhere, but it does have the Moon Eyes as you can see right there. Very detailed. I think this might be one of the best looking ones of this. Very cool. I like the moon eyes. The black and the yellow and the red look great together. The grill really stands out. I don't mind the red wheels. Seems to work well with everything. 
Nice. If you collect the Moon Eyes vehicles, this would go great with all of those. This would look good on a trailer. Going to the racetrack. Okay, let's move on to another one. The 65 Land Rover Generation 2 MBX Jungle. Wow, I like the snakeskin tempo going down the side. That's really unique looking. It's got the Land Rover right there on the door, easy to see. Interesting wheels, kind of look like they've been through the dirt. Unit 3, lots of detail on this. The windows are so dark you can't see inside. I like the luggage rack on top, that would be fun to paint and customize. Got that classic front end. Really nice, the other versions of this don't have any tempos or anything, they're just a plain color. Very impressed. The snake skin looks really good. I think that's the last 4x4 four four we have to look at. Let's move on to the next one. The Ice Cream King. MBX City. This is going to be another one with a plastic body and a metal chassis. Very detailed. I love the interior on this. Even though this is plastic, I don't mind it. I feel like they should make this in a really big version. I think kids would like that. Oh, looks really cool. Pink windows. It looks like cotton candy on wheels. Saltwater taffy. Now this one's pretty neat. I don't know why they call him at the Ice Cream King when it's saltwater taffy. He looks more like a candy truck, but I know they do have the ice cream truck version. I like this much better than that one. Okay, we're getting close to the end. We've only got about four or five more to go. Let's move on to the next one. Next, we have the MBX Garbage Scout. I think this is just a vehicle that Matchbox has made up, but it does resemble a Ford truck, I must say. And we'll get this one cracked open. I think my favorite thing about this casting here is it comes with a dumpster that the truck can pick up and carry. Good looking truck. Dumpster attaches right on there. Very cool. Nice tempos on the truck. Looks like an official garbage truck. I may end up just keeping these dumpsters and trying to sell these trucks loose on eBay. I, you know, I like the truck, but You know, you can't tell what it really is. So, but I like the dumpster even more. This would go great with some dioramas. Really cool casting here. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Here we have the 15 Mercedes-Benz G550. This is another different color variation. This one's been out for a little while. I like the wheels on this. Very nice. This has the metal flake paint. Looks awesome in this blue color. You've got all the details in the grill and headlights. Very nice. Full detailed interior. 
Oh wow, the back tire looks the best. I like that it's a slightly different color blue. That looks really good. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Very nice casting. I'd like to see somebody take one of these off-road and see how they really perform. There's probably some videos on YouTube like that. All right, let's move on to our next piece. We have a Freightliner M2106 fire truck in VX City. This is another different color variation. Oh, it looks really good in the white. I like the gold hoses going down the side. Very cool. The wheels look proper. Nicely detailed. Very nice. The blue windshield looks really good with the white. I like that. Yeah. This looks good with the fire engines. All right, let's move on to our next piece. We've got the Polaris Slingshot Trike MBX Highway. This is a really neat little casting. They have another variation of this where it's just all red. And I had a bunch of those and sold them on eBay. So it was pretty popular. This is a new variation. Much more stylish looking than the red one we had. I like the orange and the black. The blue looks nice. What an interesting looking machine. I see these driving around my neighborhood all the time in the summer. Very neat. Got the detailed interior. Great color scheme. Most impressive. Well, if you've watched this far, I'm impressed. And we're down to our last piece. So let's get it cracked open and take it for a spin. And that last piece is a 1956 PAL sport pickup truck. I've never heard of these before until now. I, I have another one of these that I already opened up. I got two for the collection. I liked it so much. I didn't realize, I, when I first looked at it, I thought it was a European truck, but it's actually made in America. One of those companies that went out of business before I was ever born. I looked it up on the internet and found some pictures. They actually did make them in, in yellow. So this yellow color is not a stretch. They were in yellow. Maybe not this exact shade, but they did make them in yellow. And I just find, the, find it to be one of the most impressive looking pickups. I love the front end on this. I love the simplicity, the styling. I like how low the back is. I would imagine it would be so easy to work out of. The diamond plate there on the back looks really cool. The reason I got two, I'm going to keep one stock and I'm going to take the other one and turn it into a tow truck. When I look at this, I could just imagine it should be a tow truck. Change the stance a little bit. Make it a little higher, put some bigger tires. Oh uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to turn one of these into a tow truck. It'll be a good video. I like the red interior. I like the blue windows. I just love it. This is why I saved this one for last. This is another one of my favorites. It's neat to... It's neat to find something that you've never heard of that's been around forever and just fall in love with it. It's new to me. I've never seen it before. Never even heard of one. I can't wait to see one in real life. I hope I get to see one one day. 
I love this front end. It just looks amazing. It reminds me of something you would see in a cartoon. It's like a kid's dream came true. I love the style. Very neat. Well, I want to thank everyone so much for watching, especially if you watched this whole video. I know it probably got long, but I had so many to look at. I figured this was the best way to do it. I hope everyone stays safe and healthy, and I'll be talking to you soon.